Hello, and welcome back to Skyblock with CreateMod. Today we're going to be working on a vegetable farm, because I need sugarcane. I'd like to get sugarcane for paper, and paper we can turn into blueprints, and blueprints we can use to use the schematic cannon. I'll show you what all that means later. In the meantime, let's get started. This is Minecraft Skyblock, where we are stranded on our block above the void. With nothing but a few items, we build this world up from nothing, but with a twist. We have the Create Mod. I need access to uh, some fancier blocks, which means I need to start converting a lot of this cobblestone into stone. And in order to do that, I'm going to use a fan blowing over lava. So, let's pull this off. There, I got a nice little blade of lava. And I'll use that with a fan. So, first things first, let's make a fan. Alright, so I have this uh, encased fan here blowing across this lava for my cobblestone generator. And that creates this superheated air, which I can use to smelt things. Now, instead of using, um, you know, coal or wood to do one thing at a time, I can do entire stacks of items I want to uh, smelt all at once. Uh, this looks like I have the um, fan up a little too high. I think it'll still work, but I'm going to have to slow it down. There it goes. And just like that, I got a whole stack of stone. Ow, ow. <laughs> Try not to light yourself on fire with this thing. Okay. Let's... Ow. Like I said, don't light yourself on fire with this. Let's, uh... Let's block this off. And hopefully I got most of my stuff back. Oh, what a mess. Well, still got my stone. A lot of my items. Looks like I lost my shafts. Alright, for our farm project, we're going to need a lot of dirt. In Skyblock, we can create more dirt by taking dirt and combining it with gravel to make coarse dirt. i do that real quick. So now I have 64 coarse dirt... And what I like to do is put down our coarse dirt, right click it to make it a path block, and then left click it to dig it up. And that turns it into, back into a dirt block. So if we pillar her up with this, so I have a whole stack of dirt here, and then right click to make it a path block, left click to dig it up. And then if I hold right click and left click at the same time, can convert it automatically and just like that I doubled my half stack of dirt into a full stack of dirt I've been working on this for a while so I ha I have uh, almost nine stacks see eight and a half stacks of dirt made a stone cutter I'm gonna go ahead and make some nice bricks I think I'll make a couple stacks just to get started it's time for super fast build mode. Wait, I'm not scarred. We got our first wandering trader, but well, I'd say second wandering trader. 
Thankfully, he doesn't have the dripstone trade. I'm not quite ready for wandering traders yet. Because dripstone would be a great way to get infinite lava. For those of you that don't know, when you plant crops, you want to alternate the rows. So I've got wheat, potatoes, carrots. Wheat, potatoes, carrots, wheat, potato, carrots. Um, if you have the same crop right next to each other, so if you had potatoes, 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 they will actually grow half as fast. So it would take twice as much land to grow the same amount of potatoes. So in doing this, I'm maximizing my growth. Uh, to go even further, I should have some bees around. The bees have a chance to actually basically bone me of them as they're flying past. But this will do for now. For my sugarcane, I maximize the amount of area that each water block can do. So this water block does these four, this water block does these four. And so this is the, the optimal pattern to get the most amount of sugarcane in a given part of land. Uh, with a plot this size though, I have four dead spots. So I put lanterns there. I think it looks nice. Over here I have my kelp farm. I need to fill it up, so let's go harvest some kelp out of my original farm and get those get that planted. Hopefully this will be enough to c handle the whole thing. I've got some in the chest too, so I'll grab that just in case. This stuff grows so incredibly fast. In fact, it'll pro oh, there goes one, there goes another one, there goes another one. Yeah, this stuff grows super quickly. I wish this sugar cane would catch up a bit. It's going to take me forever to fill up this farm. What's interesting, like the age of the plant matters. So as this sugar cane gets older, the faster it will grow to a point. All right, let's go ahead and get started on the harvester bit. I'm going to run this whole farm on a windmill, so let's place our windmill here. All right, so I have a windmill bearing, and I've got a barrel on top for storage. Then I want a center block for my sails, so I'm going to go ahead and split my split my sails up. And this here is super glue. Now, super glue allows me to attach blocks together, so I want to attach this barrel to the central block. So you can see that all three of these are now in connection and then I want to take the center block and connect it to all these sails and I want to also take the center block and connect it to all these sails so this is all glued together and ready to rotate as one thing we should have enough for 13 harvesters let's take a look yep 13 beautiful all right so i know from my test world that i want to make this three from the outside and let's set up some temporary blocks okay so one two and three let's start putting harvesters in And we'll knock out these temporary blocks. Let's glue these harvesters onto these sails here. Make sure we get those ones out here. And that should do it. Uh, let's knock out this block. And this should be our crop farm. Let's make sure it works. Yep, looks like we got the right amount. Let's go ahead and use our cheaty cam and take a look. You know, just right to get that inside corner. Very nice. Now since this thing's all one apparatus, it'll automatically put all the crops into that barrel. It'll automatically replant um, different crops out here. And it's going to go ahead and harvest our kelp and harvest our sugarcane as it grows. 
Let's go ahead and stop it, see what our first few rounds of look like. I got a, over a stack of kelp, got some wheat, I got some potatoes, I got some carrots. I'm going to go ahead and plant these because I need to finish the crop rows. Now I just need my sugar cane to grow up a little faster. Hello? Look at this guy. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Unfortunately, we didn't need a garden gnome just yet. Let's go ahead and take a sky view of this guy. I think it looks pretty good. Pretty simple, but very effective. I'm going to go ahead and add a few decoration blocks, maybe on the corners. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with that. I shall call you Steve. Steve. The sky block chicken. <laughs> he just grew up. And he almost flew up in the thing. <laughs> okay, so now that we have our crop farm done, I think I'm ready to start creating my crate mod cannon, schematic table, schematics, and other devices. However, I ran into a bit of a snag. If I go and look up the recipe for the cannon, it takes two iron blocks, some wood, some smooth stone, and a dispenser. And I thought, oh, that's going to be easy enough. But a dispenser takes redstone. And let's see, the only place I can get redstone is from a witch. So I decided... Hey, I'm going to have to go and go all the way to the witch hut, which is 850 blocks away. And then I'm going to have to build a witch farm in order to kill enough witches to get some redstone. As you can see, after bridging out for 850 blocks and then making a platform up to the witch and then killing one witch, the very first witch, I was able to get some redstone. I got extremely lucky. Oh my goodness, first one, I got redstone, fantastic. All right, I got my cannon, I got a schematic table, I need to make an empty schematic. So take our corn flour to make some blue dye, take some bone meal to make some white dye, Mix those together to make light blue dye. And add some paper. We have our empty schematic. Make a couple of them. Put one away. Alright, so let me show you how this works. I get my schematic table out. Place that down. Now this allows me to load a file into a schematic. So, place in my schematic. And then this browse, browses to a folder on here, and it's already got my mob farm ready to go. So we can go ahead and apply this file to this schematic to create a... From an empty schematic to a regular schematic. You can see here, I can place it in the world. I think I want it to be over here. Now this isn't... This is all ghost blocks right now. This isn't real. See? And then using these controls, I can rotate it. I can position it where I want to. Now that I have it placed where I want it in the world, I can use my cannon to blast all the blocks into position. So let's put down our cannon. Put a chest next to it so the cannon can take blocks from an adjacent inventory. Put on our schematic. All right, and then next up here, this will make us a checklist of parts we need. So we'll make a book. So I need some leather. Here we go. 
I already got some paper. So I'll make a book. Put the book in the cannon. And just like that, I know exactly what I need. You notice these spawn eggs. Well, this happened to take all the parts for the uh, mob farm. Plus, it took down all of the mobs that were in the mob farm. I can safely ignore these. So I see here I need eight chests, right? So if I put in the five chests in my inventory, rewrite the book, and look at this again, now we only need three chests. And so I'm going to go through here and get this all filled out. In case fan, gearboxes, hoppers, cogwheels, mechanical bearings, nozzles. You get the idea. I'll be right back. All right, I think that's all the ingredients I need. I'll take a look at my book here. And other than the spawn eggs, yeah, we have everything we need. Okay, so next we need some gunpowder. Get a little bit. Put our gunpowder in. So we can fire something like, I don't know. Oh, we can fire up to 5,100 shots. Okay. And we have our schematic place where we want it. And so all that's left to do is go ahead and fire this off. Oh, let me check my settings here. Skip missing blocks. And here we go. And just like that, it starts building our mob farm for us. Alright, so here is our fully automatic mob farm. Now I've given myself night vision um, in order to, so that you guys can see what's going on. I hop in here and it's completely full of mobs. Now in the middle we've got hoppers which will pick up items that these guys drop. And here we have our saw blade and a nozzle. So this nozzle has a fan under it and it'll actually suck all the mobs from around here straight to the center. And the saw blade will spin extremely fast and kill all the mobs. Now this thing is effectively a mob blender. Let's turn it on and you get to see what happens. All right, the mob farm is running. Let's take a look inside. This really is a mob blender. I'm pretty proud of this design. My goodness, look at this thing. It's going crazy. This is a ridiculous amount of mobs killed. All right, so about 10 minutes has gone by. Let's take a look at our drops. Man, look at all these drops. This is only one of the chests. Let's see, we got some bottles, andesite, gravel. Oh, we even got three redstone. Sticks, bones, gunpowder, rotten flesh. All right, let's check out one of these other ones. Ah, some more bottles. Ah, some spider eyes. Let's see, just some regular stuff. Look at this chest, it's half full. Some more redstone, some more sugar. Andesite, gravel. Ah, this is fantastic. This is going so fast. Thanks for watching, that's about all we have time for today. 
we got a lot done. We have our crop farm. We have our automatic mob farm. Um, it's all still pretty ugly over there, but we're working on it. If you like this video, please like. If you want to, please subscribe. That really helps me out. And goodbye.